Got top four, Japan, Japan, Japan versus Japan versus Japan versus Japan. Versus Japan? Versus Japan. Oh. <laughs> versus Japan. But yeah. Daring today, aren't we? All right, so again, we're going to see T up on stage and, of course, Shuton as well. Pac-Man versus Olimar. We're going to see another zoner versus zoner battle here. Now, I believe we saw this matchup a few months ago at Prime Saga. Am I correct? Yeah, I believe those. Is was that Grands? Or I believe it was Winners and Grands. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Three, Looks good to have a familiar one, match back on the screen. Go. Yeah, and th but this time in loser semi, so a lot, oh, a right. lot earlier. So we're gonna see a little uh, different things going, advancing onwards to the bracket. But man, both these players, uh, just Japan, just coming out so strong this tournament, and they they wiped the competition right out of losers bracket, right out of winners bracket. Man, they were all like four of them in winner side top eight. Now ending it off, just they're the only ones left. Maybe that's why they took the picture, because they were like, ha-ha, it's already us four left. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's that's take a group so photo, early. guys. No one else is in the tournament. <laughs> oh, no, no you can't. It's like, like T, T, like, shouts out to the crowd, like, hey, everyone in the tournament, like, let's take a group, group photo, group photo. It's, it's just like oh, everyone else on. just puts their heads down. Like, hold on, America, not so fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys aren't in bracket. Back in, back <laughs> chill, in chill, 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 chill. <laughs> wow, that's Three up airs. Jeez, man. Shuton is making quick work of this second stock. Already taking this first stock while we were talking about how great Japan is. And the parry to the smash stack. I don't even know which one it was, but it, that was definitely a purple Pikmin. It was definitely a purple it Pikmin. It had to be a purple Pikmin. Man, Shuton literally wiped his second stock in like 30 seconds. That was incredible. Man, did I say zoner versus zoner? Jeez, uh. Man, we're. That's not like, what this, I heard. This I is heard, swiftness, man. I heard Commander in general, Shuton versus the tricky uh, T. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> Shoot on still has three stocks. This is a very commanding game one so far, and he's still racking up some damage. That white Pikmin getting two ticks off, but man, sometimes two ticks is enough damage just to put so much hurt on him. Look at this. That S smash with the yellow Pikmin is gonna put a little bit extra stun no on T. Are you gonna get three stocks? Oh, okay. Okay, Shoot on is definitely trying to three stock this man. Oh, he gets a grab. But I mean, what what's gonna kill on the lineup here? I believe I saw a blue, but oh, yeah. there it is, man. Blue Pikmin coming right through, just as I shouted him out with the backer. You usually see the blue Pikmin getting the throw kill, but okay, that's a three stock. Yeah, that blue Pikmin wears many hats, and he's able to fill <laughs> many positions. <laughs> yeah, probably the most versatile of all of them, because <laughs> I mean, he he's definitely the only one that kills with it as a throw. So, so of course, he picking his. Uh, counter pick, final destination so fast. They both know exactly what's going to be happening in this set. They've definitely uh, they've fought been here the hard so fight. Many times. Yeah, they've definitely fought the hard fight before, and just another day in the office for these two, man. Yep, it's just Sunday. <laughs> man, all right, so coming right into it, I, I feel like uh, T is definitely going to have some adjustments coming into this game number two. I highly doubt he's going to get uh, double three stock. We are seeing a much uh, a very slow start from both our players. You know, it was a little bit more explosive in game one, but with no platforms really uh, to work with, you just see the the patience coming back. Yeah, no no combo extensions um, off the platforms and FD. Fairly large stage and very very open, so you got to take your time because especially when you get hit in a disadvantage on the stage, it is rough. There's no platforms to reset on. You can kind of go to ledge, but even when you go to ledge, like where else is there to go? You, if you ledge jump, like you have no platforms to reset onto, right? So it, it can be really, really rough. This stage is very volatile. And you can see Shuton having a little bit of difficulty now that those platforms aren't there. T continuing to set up his traps, especially at the ledge. Yo, T like back here, that yellow Pikmin, he was like, there can only be one yellow man <laughs> on, this, uh, on this screen. Okay, the, it looks like the key fully charged here. Okay, the back here, wow, is gonna do it. T with a very strong opener here. Tries to set up the trampoline underneath the angel platform, but uh, she's on like, nah, man. Hey, ain't that. about that. <laughs> man, that up tilt is so good. Wow, looking like ZSS out here, man. Up air, up air. And of course, with the whistle going to allow Shuton to just fall through those up airs, really nullify any other uh, any other aggression that was going to be coming out. And T actually like looking like shoots on this uh, game number two. Yeah, not going to be able to hit a smash tag there, but going to be able to throw out the aerial and re-pick up that bell. T was looking for the roll from Shuton. We all know that the, the bell was falling right on top of Shuton, but he just stayed in shield very smart. 
Oh, there's a grab pickup on the landing, and right now T is making quick work of the second stall. Can he seal it out? Dash attack. Dash attack is playing him at the ledge, but a back air connects for Shuton. Hey, Shuton now has the corner pressure. That purple Pikmin so deadly, and man, look at the range on the red Pikmin. He didn't get the, he got the sour spot, but still, incredible range. We got a couple S smashes himself. They're out of shield, but that's not gonna kill. If T needs something to kill here. He's got shoots on at such a high percent. Goes for the YOLO side B. Wow, oh, and he must have grabbed him with the red Pikmin. Yeah, it was not the blue Pikmin. That's kind of unfortunate for Shuton because that is a kill confirmation, but so is that back air. All right, well, I mean, T still can get this stock fairly easily. Wow, that key took out like two to three Pikmin there. Jeez. Yeah, the key does not discriminate. It takes out all the Pikmin and minus their leader. the purple. Well, and and took out their leader just now too, man. The second key. Oh, here's the Galaga combos. Ooh, great DI coming out from Shuton. But the Frame Trap pickup coming back in for T. Already 52% on this man. Okay, another forward air. Even utilizing the trampoline to his own advantage, Shuton playing, uh, slowly wrecking the damage onto T. And I love that he went for that lead drop, double jump there, there. Oh, and the forward smash is going to seal it out. Very convincing. Not a three stock, but you know, two stock low percent. Pretty close. Oh, very, very close. What an answer to, for game two. So um, what I wanted to point out earlier is he did a lead drop double jump fair on the shoots on shield. So shoots on is just naturally going to up smash out of shield. But right after that fair, T went into Nair, not in, not with the intentions to hit him with the Nair, just so the Nair could hit and clank out the up smash so he wouldn't like get hit by it. Really, really smart stuff. That is some next level thinking for sure. But running it right back to Pokemon Stadium 2 now. We saw how successful uh, shoots on was on this stage. Yeah, very surprised no ban for T considering he got three socked on the stage. But I mean, maybe he just like was like, eh, man, I, like, I just didn't do these things right. Like, it wasn't the stage with me. Okay, well, let's see if it is. In fact, uh, it was T and not the stage. Wow, did you see that conversion? Yeah. That I, a good link with the up tilt. Yeah, I love T every time, or not every time, but a lot of times he'll up throw up air and then he gets a reset with up tilt. Catches him swinging or maybe even frame traps him. So it, it, it usually ra racks him up a lot of percent here. Okay, yeah, forward air into orange, and the orange is still in hand, but jab in shoots on right off the stage. That cherry just completely ignored the Pikmin. The cherry on top, man. But I feel like even that fair into the orange, it looked low-key looked true, which is like pretty pretty crazy that Pac-Man has like combos and setups into that neutral B, into the bonus fruit. It must be true that he just picked up that orange and just continues to keep going, but a key cutting right through. Right through Shuton. Yeah, I think Shuton was spacing for the bell, and he was out of range of it. But then, like, he was like, actually, I can just key you and then bell you. <laughs> bell that tolls. All right, so Shuton coming in. And, man, I mean, can we talk about momentum shift? Like, T literally got three stocks game one. And he's won game two with a low uh, two stock low percent. And now he's coming in with the lead on game number three. Yeah. Um the changes were definitely there for T. He made some adjustments. Now, but that up throw is going to make quick work of that stock. Okay, not too much of a lead here. But it's also a statement, too, that's like, man, you three stalked me on this stage. Let me go ahead and counter pick. Or, like, let me. Let, you can go ahead and counter pick it, and I'll take the first stock. Okay, shoots on retreating to the ledge. Looking very comfortable here, but I'm not sure if I'll just continuing to. To make yep. that your home. See, again, he went for the up throw up air and then automatically, like, shifted back down and tried to go for that up throw reset. Shuton ready for it this time, punishes him for it. And another S smash landing on a Shuton. S smash works so well as an anti air. Just recovering high and making it very difficult. Shuton being slippery. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a fair to cover. That, oh, almost hits him with another fair down air. Not going to quite hit the mark. Grab. So, so far away, she's on just dashing away from that situation. Yeah, it looked like he was thinking about it, just kind of running back in, but inside to reset and stay, complete his army. Get yeah. more Pikmin out there. Oh, and there is the bell, and it is going to be the death of Shuton right there. Forward smash, of course, going to be the pretty much the go-to. Now, we've seen uh, T land a lot of bell setups, but I think for more in this setup than I've seen in the previous, but he's just doing using bell up close, like in Shuton's face. And it must be really unexpected because Shuton keeps getting hit by it. Yeah. Okay, there's the roll. I'm gonna get uh, T right back to the center stage, right where he wants to be, setting up these hydrants, setting up all these bonus fruit, but Shuton gets away, gets the center stage, and he gets the up smash with the purple Pikmin now with two purples on the lineup. Only a single purple is needed to make quick work of that hydrant. Yep. T make, taking his time, making it back to stage. 
Oh, I like that. He goes. He tries to trump, but he, got, he pulls the trigger a little too early, so just normal gets up there. Okay, dash attack moving right through those Pikmin. Yeah, trucking right through him. He does not care. Tries to throw the key, but Shuton goes high. Shuton staying a little bit more grounded right now. Yeah, I feel like the that's like such a great mix-up because it's like the arcs that the you know the bell and the key have are so so different. Oh, but a forward smash! It just kept going. Go. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny to see like a forward smash hit someone as all Mars and hits them. Like, <laughs> what just happened? That Pikmin had its orders. Yeah, what it needs to <laughs> keep do. going. <laughs> keep going. Did I tell you to stop? Uh. <laughs> Wow, that, that was a really big break, because look at this. T is already at 105. How, where did all this damage come from? Man, just only took a blink of an eye. And that's puts T in triple digits. Another Hydrant forces his shield. And that, of course, being in the incorrect distance for that belt to even be a threat. They're trying to get the purple. Oh, but the up smash again. Not going to get psyched out because it has that item priority. Down there. Oh, it goes for the ledge count. Something we don't really see too often anymore. Oh, and stomping on him with the down air. That move does kill. And what a way. I mean, that that sucks. I, I feel like Shudan kind of tried to flex the trump too hard during that whole entire set because we saw him go for it like a couple times on the second stock and stuff mm -hmm. and try to sneak that on T on that third stock. That was so risky because he missed it. And then because of that, he got hit off stage because of that. And then that was just why he got down there. That's the gamble. you, And that's the game you play if you try going for those leg and your opponent just gets up. Yeah, really good stuff. T buffering that option, maybe reacting, maybe just guessing, but nonetheless, uh, Shuton is going to take that game. No, T's going to take that oh, game. T, yeah, T's going to take, yeah, the downer, my bad. Okay, but attack from Liz going to put Shuton in a good position, getting up, uh, up smash into double up air. Ooh, the cherry, the shield pressure as well, why not? Didn't have much charged up there. Mirada Shield gonna keep this pressure going here, going up high and drifting back with the down air. Very, uh, very common uh, thing we see shoots on do, and it's just such a hard thing to call out, that's why it's so good. Right, right. Okay, and like Alga also gonna make, uh, eliminate any pressure that Shuton was trying to set up at the ledge. Okay, look at that. Look at the approach of that Hydrant. It's definitely covering uh, the neutral get up. Multiple options. Multiple sure. options for sure. Oh, the oh. up smash was just a tad bit short, but oh, the orange snipe tries to catch it. He forces him to go high with the orange, but oh, off stage once again. We have the bell online. Down air, but he hits the Pikmin, not the Olimar. I mean, that might have been the hero Pikmin that he just took out, though, so maybe that was the play he was looking for. The bell stuck in animation. Now we see the cherry being thrown. Another down air connects. And it, like, dragged him out, too. I'm very surprised that Shuton didn't really, like, fall out of the move because it, he, like, got started, started getting hit, like, by the backside. Oh, and here comes T with these low percent combos, man. Oh, and the grab catching the spot dodge. The grab is so... Is it active that long that he was yeah. able to get it because it was yeah. even after the spot dodge? That's crazy. It's it's a pretty good grab. Like, obviously, it's still not as good as like, standard grabs, but it's pretty good for what it is. It has its uses. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, I mean... Especially compared to what that grab was in Smash 4, that grab was so bad in Smash 4. More Ethos coming out from T, but blocking the close-up Bell and a back air out of shield from Shuton. Shuton's like, man, you really think you're going to hit me with Bell point blank? Get that out of my face. <laughs> Not again. Fool me once, fool me twice, fool me three times. I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the key almost. Really good setup. From, uh, from T there. Oh, tries to get the forward air, but look at this movement. Look at this recovery from Shuton, but it's all for nothing. The back throw, the yeet will get him out of here. Oh, and T is just one stock away from advancing to loser's finals. Pressure, I'm sure he's not thinking about the trophy just yet. At the same time, oh, good grab. Who cares yeah. about getting a Pikmin last on you? He's about to take uh, Olimar for a ride. Yeah, exactly, and I mean, even like, Getting any kind of damage trade is good at this point for T because he is at that stock ahead. And wow, he's just landing there and rising there. This shield pressure is incredible here on Shuton. And Olimar, definitely a character with not the fastest out of shield options. Still pretty good out of shield options because you have up smash, but it is frame 12, which is a lot slower than like most meta up smashes. Okay, jabbing Shuton shield, and guess what? That's gonna be the famous back air from Shuton. Okay, ooh, there's the Nair, and right now T is making such quick work, and the forward smash is gonna take Shuton out. T will take it 3 1. Wow. For the F smash to be the clutchest move that T to use, I mean, you see him 